Hello everybody out there in Farming Simulator land. I have been uh, discovered something by accident. Looks like I'm I've got a whale on an invisible fishing line, so to speak. And this whale of a bale seems to be extremely heavy. Whoops. Turn the beacon lights off. If I can do it without using the help button. Or help window. So I tried to pick this up as you saw and even with this heavy weight in the back, the Fed 3300 kilograms times that by 2.2 and that's how many pounds it weighs 3300 kilograms is it's about seven over seven thousand pounds it's 3300 times 2.2 is a lot And something strange happened. You saw you saw what happened. This is a glitch in the matrix happening right in front of me. Now I know the garage said do not use with the cotton John Deere DLC. I don't know if I have that installed as a mod or not. I will have to check later. I really did not intend for this to happen. It's not like I just said, hey, I'm gonna create something funny. And you know. This, I was just trying to find a bale fork for my wheel loader to put near my pig husbandry. Let me show everybody my pig husbandry. Wow, look at the size of the whale of a bale we have here that's caught. The glitch in the matrix. And it, it's, it's, it's like a fish that's alive. And there's inertia. The law of inertia is in play. An object in motion will stay in motion unless it is acted upon by an outside force. And it seems to be gaining ground. And the farming, whoa, it is. It's getting, it's trying to get away. It's hooked. The law of inertia applies in outer space. And in the farming simulator universe, 19, it is a type of outer space in a different universe. So some things can happen. Wow, it's gaining ground, guys. So this happened to me. I was just waiting for winter. Some real snow to come along. The forecast calls for snow tomorrow. 1.1 millimeters. Let me turn the volume down on my... volume down on my TV. So there's the forecast. Tomorrow we're going to get a lot of snow, hopefully. Hopefully the forecast doesn't change. And that's what I was preparing for. I was preparing for snowfall because the ground gets slippery on start from scratch mode, which I, uh, let me explain for those of you that don't know, I am on year eight. Let me go to the screen that shows everybody. Now if you look down, we're under storage capacity. Year 8 is going to flash up real quickly and then it's going to go away. It's just a glitch in the game. Not really that major glitch, but let's watch again. I'm going to go to here. Look for the... Did you see the 8? One more time. So we're on year 8. 758 hours. Time played. 46 minutes this session. You can pause the screen and look, look at these statistics if you'd like. Contracts. I really don't like transporting in Felsbrand. You need a uh, small tractor, and I haven't invested in one yet. That's just for the Feldman map. Every map is different. I've done hundreds of transport missions, but not many on this map. By the way, I've been playing for 18 weeks in five days, I believe. Almost 19 weeks to get to this point in real, you know, real time of my investment in this awesome game. 
And now this game has gotten so much more fun because there can be glitches in the Matrix. So let me show the garage again for those that are interested. I have a bail fork that says, important, don't use this tool if you have the John Deere Cotton DLC. I didn't read that until after this happened. That's my mistake. I will have to see if it's installed as a mod, but I'm not going to do that right now. For, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to enjoy the ride. A whale of a bale. Now that heavy weight on the back here of my tractor hopefully will be enough, but I doubt it. Just so we can get this thing flipped up right again. So the, uh, the uh, whale of a bale, that was pretty neat, wasn't it? Watching it there, me in the field, like it was reeling in and like I was fishing. I wonder how much more ground it has gained. It's gone beyond that tree and it has stopped. Let's go look. We need to go around the other side anyway. And it has stopped moving. So when it rocks back and forth, it gains ground. That is interesting. It's like a real-life fish. Now it's tuckered out. It's tired. But it's still hooked. Wow. So, so if it weighs that much, it looks like the bale, those two bales themselves somehow multiplied in weight and gained mass magically. That weight on the back of this tractor is perfect for this. It's a very heavy weight. All right, we're going to turn the back up the tractor and we'll turn it off. Whoa, cool! Look at that, everybody. This is the PlayStation 4. Something you don't see every day on console. And it's just up there hovering. Hovering with the cows. Whoa, it's de it's disintegrating if I think. Or is that just a graphic glitch? Let's jump up on the cow here. Oh, we gotta get a ladder to jump up, get up top of the cow. Yeah, Farming Simulator 19 is a different universe with different physics that still remain constant in our world, like the law of inertia, as we just saw. And once it contacts another force, which I believe was the level of the ground there, is when... Oh! I'm not even sure if this ladder is going to be recognizing this cow as a place, or she's just going to fall right through. Yeah, I don't think it recognizes the cow, and it shouldn't, but you know, you got to test the universe that we live here in FS19 on console. Now I know people on PC can get away with a lot more, and you wouldn't believe it because they can change things. But on console, this is unheard of. So I had to record this for everybody to share with everybody what I've discovered on accident. Look how heavy that bale is. Where to go? It's launched even farther up into the stratosphere. So far, we can't even see it anymore. It's way okay. So my only option, I think, is to sell it back to the shop. But I don't want to do that just yet. I want to have some fun. There it is. Boy, that's a fish. Because if we sell it back to the shop, then we concede, and the fish gets away. Whoa, I think it weighs a ton. Okay, let's get back to the tractor. Wait, let's crawl forward a little bit here. See if we can... Reel it in. Reeling it in. We got, we got some, we got, we gained some ground on it magically. So I've got quite a bit of equipment that I've purchased over the last 
19 weeks, almost nine years in game. On seasons mode, start from scratch, Felsbrin, everybody who plays on Felsbrin probably recognizes this map. And I have plots 30, 31, and 23 purchased in that order. Got to have a heavy weight on the back of your tractor. custom silage storage pit which I put my silage in after I ferment it in this main bunker silo but this is a custom made and I have the, the trees there chopped down to prevent snow from getting in there it's just a test I haven't really verified it yet but I guess that's where it's taking us didn't mean for this part of the video man that is a heavy bale now both of them are stuck now, let me just point out, I did have three. No, I know I didn't. I only had two. Well, I guess we're going to talk about this. This is my custom-made silage storage pit, which I believe can hold a couple million liters of silage. Now, before you attempt to do this as well, if you would like to make this for your own farm, what you do is you go into sheds. You go get this building here. Hold on a minute. This one. The Easy Shed 1 from the mod. Easy Shed. You get that. Then you place it here. Or here. Or wherever. On plot 30 because of the angle. Plot 30 has a steep angle. But, you know, if I placed it here. But, you know, if you want to place it over here. And when you place it and then sell it it leaves a hole in the ground for you to work as sort of a pilot hole and then you can build around it. A square. Nice, perfect, in the ground square. And then, this is very important, these are 18, 18 meter porch roofs. You place those first. This is very important. Before you put anything in here. If you choose to put hay if you choose to put any other material in here, be warned that you put these in first. These porch roofs. Set them up how you like. Then put your material in. If you put your material in first and then say, hey, you know, I want to protect my material from the elements. If you put these porch, 18 meter porch roofs above it, it will delete the material underneath. Because I've tested it. I've done a lot of testing on my custom made silage pit here to talk about it to be comfortable with the community to bring forward what I've discovered on my own which I think is unique and a first if anybody out there has done this similar something like this I would like to hear about it we would like to hear about it those trees are cut down you can recognize the species and I'm doing that to prevent snow from accumulating I'm not sure yet if it, if it will work but I think it will otherwise if I want to make total mixed rations for my cattle by using this fermented silage. I'd have to first remove the snow in case I accidentally get snow in there while I'm collecting it in my 8,000 liter mega bucket, which you can see over there near the manure pit for the cows. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, this is cool. Get, we're reeling it in, folks. We have reeled in our catch. Yay! So, the only other re uh, thing to do is to d d take it off. See if this fixes the glitch. We'll see. If not, I'm going to have to just sell it. Let's see if we can place them down. And... They are still attached to some sort of crazy f universe. Well, Farming Simulator 19 does not obey the laws of our universe. That's just how science works. Isn't that cool? So let's get a let's get a 
eyeball on the other one first before I sell it. Just so that when it drops, we know where to go look. If anybody else has plays on Felsbrin and has any uh, thing they'd like to share in the comments, we'd all love to hear it. Or any other map where something similar has happened. So we know where the bales are. We're going to go to our garage and sell it. Wait, I got to detach it first. Just to prevent any... Whoa. Anything bad from happening. Garage. Sell. Yes. These two have been sold. Hope everybody can hear me okay. This headset does not exactly fit my head very well. I have a large melon. So everything's back in order. So I think that will conclude this video for now. The next video I make, there'll be, there will be snow, and I'll be playing in the snow with my 8,000 liter mega bucket for my wheel loader. And I'm going to attempt to bury my sports car over there. The Lincoln, the, the, the Lizard Continental, not the Lincoln. this. And I'm going to take it out in the fields over there where it's nothing is growing. Oh yeah, the reason why nothing is growing over there, if you're wondering, is because my rotation planner see where it says sunflowers at 1.20%? That's 120%. And the same goes with barley. I mean wheat. Because I have on one side I have wheat and one side I have barley. It's the same thing. If we go into the drone view, is what I like to call it on the console. This is the only way you can do drones on console as of yet. There's no drone mods. So I'm going to be planting sunflowers here in a very, very future video, probably a couple weeks from now. It takes that long to play in seasons. That's what's so great about it is the more you play seasons, the more there is to do, the longer a turn takes. This game is so much fun. So, all of this is going to be sunflower, and to plant sunflower, let me show you, you need a temperature, in which case this is Fahrenheit, of 45 degrees, and I have the Shelby Montana Geo, so the soil temperature will get 45 degrees approximately around late spring for my Geo. All depends on if I get snow. I have to get snow, lots of snow in the spring. So I'm definitely in the heart of winter, even though I'm, you can see I'm on winter f five out of six, and then seven, eight, nine. I can still expect snow all the way up through early winter, sometimes the very beginnings of midwinter, which would be four. The meteorologists this game do not uh, get snow right a lot in seasons enough said about that I think everybody knows what I'm talking about for example the day before yesterday it said I was supposed to get about 20 millimeters of snow on Wednesday and today is Wednesday and the forecast magically changed and the meteorologists were wrong again about snow so tomorrow I'm hoping for snow. I really do hope I get 15 millimeters total accumulation because it, around midnight Thursday we're supposed to get 14 millimeters plus the one 15 millimeters would be nice to work with if I want to play in the snow. There's a glitch in seasons for console players. And uh, 
uh, we'll leave it at that for everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, I forgot to show everybody the map. Play Fells, Brendan, want to see? Just to prove everybody out there what properties I own. All right, then. I think that covers it for now. My channel is going to be strictly Farming Simulator 19 videos from now on, just so everybody knows. Please subscribe if you like this content. I promise to bring more fun, entertaining content as it happens. Best Farming Simulator game ever made.